Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. I welcome all of you to great days. I hope you're all doing great. I hope you're all having a great day. I know I am. I got my meditation in. I did some yoga. And I had some fruit for breakfast. I got some new water as well. And it's been going great. Okay, today's video is another astrology video and it's going to be Mars in Gemini I'm basically going to channel the energies that are going to be present through Mars being in Gemini which it entered Gemini on the third coming out of Taurus and Taurus in Gemini had us dynamically expressing our self towards uh, bringing in a understanding of our values towards our family and people who are close to us and what it is that we are holding of value right now in our lives and what we need to then work on to bring in more of that pleasure and that comfort and that stationary position. So from Mars and Taurus, it shifted into Gemini. Mars shifted into Gemini on March 3rd. Very simple explanation of how the energies were when Mars was in Taurus. Now that it's in Gemini, Mars being very dynamic and direct in its motion, it brings down energies of fiery will, uh, expression of oneself through a passionate fiery nature like I said it's kind of like a warrior and when Mars is in Gemini it's bringing in more communication throughout our internal network but that's going to bring us to exteriorize that collective internal speaking or internal thought processing. And like I said, it's going to exteriorize it. And it's going to then use that to further bring about its more passionate natures and allow you to integrate what it is that you've been recently internalizing for yourself. So during uh, Mars and Gemini, which is going to be almost throughout the whole month, you will be feeling more like you need to do things according to a do things according to getting out of a, a unsteadiness and a scatterbrainness that the first phases of Mars and Gemini will bring you and then when um, being patient and relaxing a little bit a little bit more and kind of integrating bringing in that in integration to hold some wisdom to pace yourself a little bit more you'll steer away from that unsteadiness that Mars and Gemini can bring you and you can then utilize this position for a more for a more um uniting type of movement through what
whatever it is you like to do. It could be music, it could be art, it could be video games, it could be nature, walking, it could be meditation, it could be literally anything. And um, yeah, so you're going to start off, you're going to be a, a scatterbrain through this time. You might be a little bit off, you know, off center, but like I said, Naturally, you're going to flow towards a, an integration state, especially with Scorpio in these past moon phases to bring about those inward depths that you've been traveling to then, like I said, bring about integration and then exteriorize that to get past such scatterbrainness. And you can even bring about communicating that out to provide a um, a more enlightened uh, neural structure or network neural network Gemini is going to have a lot of us on edge but it doesn't you don't have to stay in that state like I am right now I'm kind of scatterbrained I'm kind of off my center when it's when it when explaining this but I literally just read some I literally just did research so it's the information is tuned into my head and coming to that state of knowing as Gemini is known for you can generate that inner wisdom and exteriorize it with that dynamicism from Mars passionately fire like fire and then you can uh, travel throughout what's to come or you could travel throughout the airwaves Gemini being an air sign it is dictated by the waves in the air the thought waves that go throughout the air aka the neural network that are traveling throughout the air because of Gemini the air is intensified and the thought waves are especially amplified because Mars is dynamic in motion and it will use its fiery passionate will to direct thoughts through the amplified um, corresponding element which is air because of Gemini and this is going to create a whole neurological network that is strengthened and traveling or using the air to create airwaves and this is going to bring about psychological turmoil to the collective because people like, uh, like, you know, the collectives who are low vibrational, like, you know, Donald Trump, um, breaking into the Capitol and, and doing things like that, or even celebrities going about irrationally and unsteadily doing literal bullshit to distract people and bring them to a lower vibrational state you gotta watch out for for thought waves that you tune into which are related to those types of energies because they're traveling through the air via the air is amplified because of Gemini it's his corresponding em element and it then can turn into a literal psychological warfare you might get you might get steered into directions that are not good for you and you know this already because you've already steered your, yourself out of these directions to better yourself so literally use that Mars to stay in your wisdom and your knowing and your understanding to direct even more so where it is you're trying to get to and
again this is Mars and Gemini it's going to be a great time if you know how to utilize the energies all around you and it is going to be a great period for integrating oneself uh, coming to the concept of duality and understanding more and attaining to higher wisdom and knowledge as well I thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed this is a very accurate reading of Mars and Gemini so subscribe click upon this video if you haven't seen it generate some static electricity from your fingertips ethereal bodies are waiting to be realized I thank you for watching and have a great day I love you all